you fellas have any feeling that maybe you're doing something uh, that would be considered historic in football? Yeah, I want it to be historic because I won't be satisfied unless we go 17 and 0. The Dolphins defeated the Redskins and ended the year with 17 wins and no defeats. Is over. The Miami Dolphins have not only won the Super Bowl, but they've done something unprecedented. Obviously now with the passing of my father, it's left a huge gaping hole in my heart. And all I'm thinking now is all the beautiful, positive things that he did in his life to make this world a better place. Nick Bonacani was definitely the spiritual leader, the spokesperson, the energy behind what everything we did. Uh, Nick Bonacani's legacy is truly something that we're going to be thinking about for years to come in terms of the Miami Project history and the future of the project. Uh, he was very inspirational to us scientists in terms of motivating us to do the best science we could in a timely fashion. He was always pushing us to do more. The fact that Nick Bonacani got to witness people getting up out of wheelchairs after his 34 years a quest, a journey that took him everywhere around the world as a spokesperson, as an advocate, as a fundraiser, as a lobbyist, but most important, as a father. After Mark's injury, Nick realized he couldn't go into the laboratory and do cellular transplants or create new surgical procedures. But what he could do was let the world know that anything could be solved. And together we came up with the concept of the Miami Project. 